Hello everyone, your Dr. Zia Tahir here. This video tutorial is vibration analysis of eye beam with different end condition to find natural frequency and more shape in a back CAE. So the problem is a DIN 1025 normal flange I100 beam having 4 meter length is subject to the free vibration. Its overall height is 100 millimeter, overall width is 50, and then thickness of both flanges and web is 4.5, and fillet radius is 0. Although the fillet radius shown here, but it's 0. The modulus of elasticity, Poisson's ratio, and density of beam material is 210 gigapascal, 0 0.3, and 7850. Determine natural frequency and mod shape of first three modes of vibration for following end condition. The first one, both fixed ports. So that is a fixed beam, both pins port is a simply ported beam, one pin and one fix, and one fix and one free, that is cantilever beam. And compare numerical results with analytical results. So the details of the beam I have taken from uh, this reference, which is here, normal flange I beam, and these are normal flange I beam according to German standards. And I have selected I100 beam from here. So it's overall uh, height and width and then thickness of uh, web uh, web and flanges that is 4.5 millimeter and these cross sectional area uh, rest of the parameters are here so this beam is taken from that engineering toolbox website so this part of video contain a uh, fixed port beam and rest of the three, they are in another video. So steps of modeling in Abacus CAE. So the first is modeling analysis results. And in the modeling, you need to set first two set of units. So these are the three set of unit. And for this problem, I'm using Newton meter and Pascal. And then need to set work directory and need to save model. So here I have Abacus. 2020 back CAE 2020. So I need to set for work directory file. So here you have set work directory. So I set work directory and then I'm going to save that model. So I named it iBeam. So it is now iBeam. So then in the part need to create part, create material, create section, then mesh. Create instance, create stack boundary condition, and then analysis to create job results. So these are all steps which I'll follow for this analysis. First step is to create part is a 3D deformable shell extrusion. So here, uh, here is I'm naming this model as as fixed fixed both ends are fixed so here we have now so you can name it any so 3d deformable shell and then extrusion and i am going to set approximate size as 5 so continue and now here i need to draw cross section of the beam so i created sketch using these connected lines so overall height is at 0.1 meter or 100 millimeter and width is 0 0.05 so done and then its depth is 4 meter so okay so now that is model created next step is create material general density mechanical elastic uh, elasticity and elastic so for that one here the property module material so material here is steel and then in the general density that is 7850 mechanical elastic and young's modulus is 210 gigapascal and the poisson's ratio is 0.3 so that material is being created here so that one with the density 7850 and modulus of elasticity 210 gigapascal poisson's ratio 0.3 Next step is create section, shell homogeneous and need to assign shell thickness. And the shell thickness is 4.5 uh, millimeter. So 
here create section so section uh, you can name it as uh, bean section and it is shell homogeneous continue and then shell thickness is 4.5 millimeter 4.5 into okay so now that section has been created and then here is assign section so it says select the region to be assigned section so i am going to select all viewport so done and that section is being assigned so here in the material you can see that that beam section is being assigned so to check uh, thickness go to view and view options in the view part display option and then render beam profile okay, apply okay so now and render shell thickness so here you can see that uh, shell sorry its thickness is being displayed so i'm going to remove that apply next step is to create mesh and seed part and using global size of 5 millimeter and element type using s4r so here mesh empty or you can go here in the mesh module okay and click here it's the approximate global size so 5 millimeter i am using okay so that is a 5 millimeter okay and then So that is a based on five millimeter it's meshing but it's a fine meshing it is a fine meshing you can use uh, 25 as well for this case and then here is a sign beam section so select all beam and then so select the beam and then it is s4 r by default is a linear uh, standard linear and there is a shell so that is done so meshing and mesh element type is assigned next step in the assembly create instance and here in the assembly module and there is a create instance so part part one okay so now here in the assembly you can see that the instance is being created next step in the step need to create step is a linear perturbation frequency i'm going to name it as a model and even even solver is length dose and even value i am requesting 15. although uh, first three more shapes are required but i am going to uh, here request even value as 15 so that is very simple here you can go step and there is a create step or otherwise you can here click on step so i am using it as model initial the linear perturbation frequency and then here number of even value requested even solver is length loss and 15 even values are being requested here okay so now that model has been created here next step is to in the load module need to create boundary condition and i'm using uh, both and fixed first and when you are going to use both and fixed all translational and rotational uh, displacements need to set as zero and then here step as initial so you can go into step module and here you have boundary condition sorry uh, in the load module and the second one is a boundary condition or otherwise you will have here boundary condition so boundary condition step is initial displacement rotation continue and i'm going to select this edge so uh, by pressing shift button you can select multiple edges so done and then i am going to set all that equal to zero so here you can see that three uh, blue and three orange color so these are the boundary condition uh, set here for so these are the boundary condition okay so on this end and similarly i'm going to select the other edge but for other edge i need to rotate it okay so it is being rotated now all these edges i need to set and double click on boundary condition now the second boundary condition initial 
step is initial mechanical distillation rotation continue and then I am going to select these edges by pressing shift button okay so that is done and then I need to set all these as zero so now the both boundary conditions here you can see so same boundary condition on both edges so this is the fixed fix beam boundary condition so if you have pin and boundary condition so it will be u1 u2 equal to 0 and rest all are free next step is to create job data check and submit so here that is the fixed fix beam and i'm going to create a job here and its name will be i'm going to keep it as the same as fix fix continue okay and here you are and then run data check on it okay so it will take some time to so data check is completed so now i'm going to submit the job okay so it is being submitted and it will take some time to complete now the job is completed so its main analysis Next step is in the results, we need to visualize and measure frequency and mod shapes. So, right click on the results and then uh, right click on the job and go to the results. And then here you have option like this is the deformed shape. And then that is both deformed and undeformed shape. So, so this is uh, because I have used a 3D beam. So that is its first mode shape and the frequency is 11.733 that is the second mode shape with the frequency 29.82 that is the third mode shape with frequency 32.304 and then fourth mode shape with 46.35 so these are all mode shapes next step is comparison with analytical results so analytical solution or analytical results i have taken from chapter 8 continuous systems from mechanical vibration by ss rao so that is a chapter 8 here that is a continuous uh, systems from the book mechanical vibration by ss and in this figure 8.15 so these are uh, different different end condition like as if it is a fixed fixed end condition so that is a frequency equation and these are the, that is the solution of the frequency equation and that is the mod shape equation for mod shape and then here somewhere that is to find natural frequency so i have here in matlab i first solve that equation to find the values of beta which is 4.73 7.85 and 10.996 for six fixed beam so here for 4.73 7.85 and 10.9 and for first three mode shapes and then by adding the beam property the length of the beam width of the overall width overall depth of the beam and thickness of web and flange modulus of elasticity and then density of beam i calculated natural frequencies so natural frequencies comes as 44.92 123.884 and 242 so these are the natural frequencies from uh, analytical results and these are the three mode shapes so these are three mode shapes so now uh, these three mode shapes are required which are in uh, along in the transverse plane of the beam so if like if the beam is considered as a straight line so now here is the beam so if i am looking it from this side like as here so that is beam in undeformed form okay that is a beam in undeformed form so now this is the first mod shape but this is not in yz plane okay so that is the first mod shape in yz plane which comes as 46.345 and then that is the second mod which you can see from here so that is the red one is the second mode and then the third mode is actually that is a 14th mode so that is the third mode of uh, this beam those analytical results uh, that consider beam as 2d so we have to only 
uh, we have to only consider more shapes in y z plane now the comparison of uh, comparison of results so i have here uh, for more shape one these are the analytical results from the book and then these are the numerical results from abacus and that is a percentage difference so you can see that abacus first more shape uh, it is estimating at a uh, higher uh, more uh, natural frequency which is 3.2 percent high the second one is 1.3 percent high and the third one is 0.9 percent low so that is the comparison of the results so that is the first part is done and these are all steps which i have followed to solve this problem and for the next uh, for next three so please watch next video thank you very much for watching